Hi, and welcome to the very first episode of the only Photoshop show that'll teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques needed to becoming a pro. I'm your host, Gregory Thelion, and this is Pimping Pixels. Today we're going to go over the very useful brush presets menu. Many designers I know don't use this to its full potential and waste so much time working around it. So today I'm going to show you how to install new brushes, make new sets, and along the way I'll even show you where to get some cool brushes for free. And we could probably do something about this here by the end of the episode. Maybe. We'll see. So we're going to start off by showing you how to install brushes for Photoshop. Inside of Photoshop, click on the Brushes icon to your left. If that is not there, you can go to Window and choose Brush Presets and you'll see it pop up. Now with Photoshop open, all you have to do is just double click on any brush file that you might have downloaded and it will automatically open up inside of your brush presets. This is the easiest way to start using brushes inside of Photoshop. The only downside to this is that every time you want to use this brush set, you have to find where that file is and double click on it every time you want to open it. What you can do instead is copy the brush file directly into the brush presets for Photoshop. The way you do this is you open up your application folder, find Photoshop, open up the presets folder, and then in there, you're gonna open up the brush folder. Here you'll see all the default brushes for Photoshop. Just copy and paste the ones that you just recently downloaded or wanna use often into this folder. Once in the Brush Presets window, if you click the little menu button in the upper right hand corner, it will bring up the drop down menu for the Brush Presets. In here, you'll see all of your brushes that are currently saved in Photoshop listed. Just click on one that you want to open up, and then you'll have to choose whether to replace your current set with these brushes or append them. And what append means is it will add your brushes to the end of your current set. So that's a very nice option to have. So it's not always replacing your brushes. Yay. Okay. You'll also notice in the drop down menu that you can change the preview mode for the brush set. You can choose to view your brushes as text only, small or large thumbnails, a small or large list, or as a stroke thumbnail. By default, it is set to stroke thumbnail. I personally don't use this preview because most of the brushes I work with are more shapes than actual brushes, so I set it to large thumbnail preview. This way I could see the actual shape that I'll be painting with. So play around with all the different previews for a bit and see which one works best for your workflow. Moving on, you can easily create your own brush presets by opening up the preset manager from the brush presets drop down menu. Here you'll see all the brushes that you currently have available. In the preset manager, you can change the icon preview by clicking the little triangle in the upper right. Here you can choose brushes that you would like removed by selecting the brush and then clicking the delete button. You can select multiple brushes by clicking on one and then clicking on another while holding down the command button on Mac or the control button on Windows. You can also add new brushes in here as well by clicking on the load button. So just add all the brushes that you want to keep, delete all the ones that you don't want, and now you're ready to save your set. Now remember that when you want to save your brushes, you have to select all your brushes first. The easiest way to do this is to click on the first one and then click on the last one while holding down the shift key. Now you have all your brushes selected and you're ready to save. Hit the save set button and you'll be prompted to name your brush set and you'll have to choose where you want to save your brushes. Just press the save button and then you're all done. <laughs> Today's hidden treasure of the interweb is BrushEasy.com. This site has loads of brushes, textures, styles, gradients, patterns, and even actions all for free. On top of that, you can sign up and upload your own design elements for the community to download. So check out BrushEasy.com and start grabbing those brushes for free. So that was our very first episode. I hope all you guys enjoyed it. And if you really like it and want to see more episodes being made, then you got to send us over some love. So like this video on YouTube at the link below. Fan us on Facebook, here, down here, Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, down here. And we're even on Google Plus as well. We're gonna do that one up top, because you gotta plus one us, it's up top. 
If you want to send us over your comments or any suggestions, please feel free to email us anytime at pimpingpixels at gmail.com. And remember, pimps don't cry. Pimps don't cry. Screen capture, paragraph one, take one. Okay. So we're going to start off by showing you how to install brushes for Photoshop. Maybe not. Yeah. No, no, that is. Yeah, that, that, that's the episode. That's it. That is? Screen capture. Take two, three, three. Two. Right? Two. Two. Three. Okay. You can also add new brushes in here by clicking on the load button. I do not remember the rest of the paragraph after that. <laughs>